Okay, hello everybody. Let's talk about xylem. Xylem is one type of tube. The other is phloem uh, that delivers really important stuff and that is water. Xylem are the main vessels and tubes that actually carry water up through the plant through a process called transpiration or it's called the transpiration stream. Main transport route for water. Here's an image uh, electron. This is a scanning electron micrograph image. So you can see that they really are like little tubes or straws. When you're drinking through a straw from a McDonald's cup and enjoying your Coke, which I am craving right now. I haven't had Coke for a while. Uh, the, way, the way that that liquid actually moves up is actually the same process. It has to do with uh, osmosis and it has to do with cohesion and adhesion, which you have probably heard about before as a few terms here. So um, all the way from the roots all the way up to the leaves. The water can't go in directly into the plant through uh, holes in the leaves. The stomata are actually where the gas is exchanged. So you need to really go from the roots all the way up to the leaves. So that is why uh, water is so um, important and the path that it actually takes. And as that water escapes the leaves, you've seen this before, as it escapes the leaves through the stomata, um, it constantly gets pulled up through this uh, nonstop uh, stream. So we, we're talking here about the structure of xylem and how it relates to the function. This is a recurring theme in biology, how structure is related to function. So long and continuous tubes. Uh, these tubes are actually thickened with uh, something called lignin, and that means if there's low pressure in there, it's not going to collapse. You're not going through um, like really thin plastic rubber tubing where everything can collapse if there's not high enough pressure. So even under low pressure situations when water is scarce, for example, uh, where this thing is not packed uh, entirely with water, it's still going to be intact and will not collapse basically. So there are cells that are connected from end to end as well. And uh, here's these words, cohesion and adhesion. Again, uh, water and cellulose in the cell walls. So when water molecules stick to other water molecules, that is called cohesion right here. Uh, when water molecules stick to other things, in this case, as the water moves up here, these H2O molecules are stuck together by hydrogen bonding, but they're also sticking to the side or adhering to the side, and so that is adhesion. So the difference between cohesion and adhesion are cohesion is when similar substances, when the same substances uh, stick together, and adhesion is when different substances, in this case water and the cell walls, but in particular, it's the cellulose in the cell walls actually stick, stick together. So I think that's it. Water can be pulled up from the xylem in a continuous stream. So hydrogen bonding is important to talk about. This links to the properties of water all the way back in topic two. We're talking about molecules and metabolism as well. Uh, by the oh yeah, you need to actually be able to draw this diagram here. This is really simple. You, mainly what you need to do is you need to label specific things on a diagram, but you need to be able to draw it. It's one of the application uh, parts that have been added to the syllabus for section 9.1 in the 2014 syllabus. So you need to draw a little diagram and point out a few things. Here's a few a few other things that you can point out. Um, there are pores in the xylem actually which help as the water is being pulled up. Obviously we need water for photosynthesis. If you study photosynthesis then things like water splitting enzyme, water getting split and producing oxygen um, and producing hydrogen ion, hydrogen that gets split into hydrogen ions and electrons. Uh, that may sound familiar to you. If not, don't worry about it. For now, you know that the plant needs water. So as the water gets brought up through the xylem, it can actually leak out through the pores here uh, in enough quantities to actually uh, provide um, the water for photosynthesis and other cell turgor and processes as well too. Uh, the lumen, lumen is just a fancy word for this empty space inside. So the lumen is filled with sap as the cytoplasm and nuclei break down. So the xylem vessels are not really described as living tissue, but uh, all the organelles inside are broken down. You'll learn about phloem later. Same thing is true for phloem and phloem has these, uh, they have these companion cells that we think provide all the nutrients and ATP to keep the phloem tissue semi alive, which is different from xylem here. Um, what else? No plasma membranes, so water moves freely, but water actually moves through plasma membranes 
easily through osmosis, uh, you know, towards a higher solute concentration. But it's an important thing to note down. I don't think you can really show that on this diagram here. But no plasma membrane, uh, water moves freely. And the thickenings, we talked about lignin in the previous diagram as well too. The lignin is a substance. If you look up the chemical structure of lignin, it's pretty crazy and uh, it also explains why it smells quite interesting it's the stuff that you can't really chew when you get really ligniny vegetables and it's also a component of wood basically so you understand that this stuff is tough and it makes the structure hard and helps to resist inward pressure so there you go a little bit about the relationship between the structure of xylem and how the structure helps with its actual function all right